We'll now hear about the Prusina Lebomsky Research Awards in Clinical and Basic Neuroscience, generously provided by the Orion Foundation. Let's watch a short movie about the prize. My name is uh, Michael Dunkel, and it's my privilege as a director of the Orion Foundation uh, to announce the Prusina Abramsky Awards in neuroscience this year. The Orion Foundation has a long history of support for the Hebrew University, starting in the Faculty of Agriculture in 1987 and continuing today. If you're familiar with the campuses of the Hebrew University, you will see, for example, the Genghis Computer Centers and libraries in every campus, all of which were provided through the support of the Orion Foundation. We're also looking forward to the opening, hopefully within a couple of years, of the Behavioral Metabolic Imaging Complex in the Faculty of Medicine in a reconstituted and enlarged, strategically located existing building. This is currently one of our larger projects at the Hebrew University. The Prusina Abramsky Awards were created by the Oran Foundation together with the late Beryl Gingas in honor of Professor Stanley Prusina of the University of California, a Nobel laureate of mad cow disease fame, and Professor Oded Abramsky, who was head of neurology at Hadassah and former Dean of Medicine at the Hebrew University, as well as former chair of the Israel National Council for Research and Development. There are four recipients today, two in the field of clinical neuroscience and two in the field of basic neuroscience. On behalf of the Orion Foundation, it gives me great pleasure to congratulate the awardees. The prize in the category of clinical neuroscience goes to Dr. Asaf Honig. Dr. Honig is a brilliant physician who is highly compassionate with his patients. His research interests lay in the mechanisms of brain injury in stroke patients and how to improve clinical care in a patient-tailored exact manner. In addition, he studies the epidemiological and clinical aspects of neurological diseases that develop during military service and the impact of military service upon these conditions. Dr. Honig, congratulations on your award. Please share a bit more about your research. I'm very excited to receive the prize today. Now, I'm a stroke neurologist, and my goal in life is, is to fight stroke, as stroke is the most devastating condition that I know. Our patients all of a sudden can't speak, don't understand people, and they can't control the bodily movements. They, they are afraid to be paralyzed for their entire life. Now, our research is focused on the vessels of their brain. Our research is directed on the, on the walls of the vessels in the brain with special MRI techniques, telling us exactly the location, the pathology, and the degree of pathological activity within the brain. The imaging is telling us the reason for the stroke and the best way to treat it. And through follow-up imaging, we know if we took the correct measures. Finally, we hope to bring patients back on their feet to their families and working places and to their loved communities. Thank you so much. Thank you. An additional prize in the category of clinical neuroscience is awarded to Dr. Nina Feinstein. Dr. Feinstein studies the immune modulatory and neurotrophic properties of neural stem cells and their potential use for clinical translation in neurological diseases. She showed for the first time the functional failure of resident brain stem cells to protect the brain in models of Alzheimer's disease, opening novel therapeutic targets in neurodegenerative disorders. In addition to being a vigorous scientist, Dr. Feinstein is a passionate teacher to many students taking their first steps in lab research. Dr. Feinstein, congratulations. The floor is yours. 
Thank you very much. My research focuses on studying the therapeutic properties of both transplanted and resident neural stem cells as a tool to protect the brain. Studies of Alzheimer's disease patients showed temporal gap between amyloid accumulation in the brain and neurodegeneration. Moreover, large variance of beta amyloid burden was detected among patients with similar severity of the disease. This suggests the existence of brain neuroprotective mechanism, which varies between individuals. The established neuroprotective properties of transplanted neural stem cells raise the question regarding possible malfunction of our resident neural stem cells failing to protect the diseased brain. And indeed, we showed age and disease associated functional changes in neural stem cells of the Alzheimer's brain. We showed that the functional failure is reversible and caused by the toxic brain environment. I believe that understanding of the mechanisms of those changes will enable us to manipulate and prevent the failure of brain neuroprotective processes and perhaps to postpone the onset of Alzheimer's disease dementia. Thank you very much. Thank you. The prize in the category of basic neuroscience goes to Dr. Haitam Amal, whose ultimate research goal is to identify novel biomarkers and drug targets for autism spectrum disorder and other neuropathologies. Towards this aim, Dr. Amal combines computational biology and biochemical, pharmacological and behavioral methods in his laboratory of neuromics, cell signaling and translational medicine at the Institute of Drug Research at the Faculty of Medicine. Dr. Amal, congratulations on receiving this honor. Please describe the impact of your research. Thank you. So autism spectrum disorder is a developmental and neurobehavioral disorder manifested by persistent abnormalities in social interaction, deficits in communication, restricted interest, and repetitive behavior in kids. In Europe and USA, the current average prevalence of autism is 1 to 56. It grew 32-fold over the last 50 years. Autism can be a devastating disorder not only for the patients, but also for their families. Moreover, it exerts a very significant negative impact on the economy. It has been forecast that the family economic burden of ASD in the U.S. will reach up to 3.6% of GDP by 2025. Unfortunately, due to significant inconsistency and data disparity, no reliable diagnostics from laboratory tests or pharmacological treatment has been found against autism. My lab at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem combines multidisciplinary tools to develop diagnostic methods using artificial intelligence models. Also, we aim to identify drug targets to find therapeutics to treat or cure autism. We use both clinical samples from autistic kids as well as transgenic mouse models. We truly confident that our work is expected to yield breakthroughs, both for diagnostics and therapy for autism. And this will be the first step in the translation of the results to clinical practice. Thank you. Amen, thank you. Another prize in the category of basic neuroscience goes to Dr. Ariel Gilad whose research aims to understand how the brain encodes cognition at the brain-wide level. In his lab, Dr. Gilad uses state-of-the-art methodologies, including wide-field imaging and multi-fiber photometry to apply a mesoscale approach where he aims to simultaneously image as many brain areas as possible as mice perform complex behavioral tasks. Dr. Gilad's long-term goal is to obtain a brain-wide cognitive map for both the healthy and disordered brain. Dr. Ariel Gilad, congratulations. The stage is yours. Thank you very much for this award. It's a great honor. So as you mentioned, we study cognition, different cognitive functions, memory, learning, perception, and we use a mouse model to measure from many brain areas simultaneously as mice just perform cognitive tasks. And we really want to understand the brain-wide network underlying cognition, not only in the healthy brain, but also in the disordered brain. So autism, schizophrenia, and Alzheimer are just several examples where we want to understand the dysfunction network to better shed light on the, on the neuronal 
mechanisms underlying uh, each disorder and of course eventually make the world a better place. So thank you again. Thank you.